Hello, welcome to 3D10 Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to apply some special transforms on geometries, namely scaling, shearing and flipping. Scaling allows us to shrink or expand a single geometry or group of geometries. Let's see how to do it. While in the view rotate mode, we click on the geometry that we want to shrink. From the context dialog, we click on the scale icon. This opens a slider at the bottom and the scaling ratio readout banner. We can drag the slider and change the scale ratio as desired. For values less than 1.0, we will shrink the geometry, and for values more than 1.0, we will expand it. For precise ratios we can click on the ratio readout banner and enter the value manually. You may have noticed the XYZ checkboxes below the slider. They indicate the dimensions along which scaling is applied. When all of them are checked, the geometry changes its dimension proportionally along all dimensions. This is called uniform scaling. By checking only one or two axes, we can achieve non-uniform scaling, which we can use to create interesting shapes. For instance, we can convert a cylinder into an elliptical disk by applying the scaling only along a single dimension. Let's look at another transform. Shearing. Shearing comes handy in specific applications. It allows us to skew a geometry sideways, while keeping the surfaces in the perpendicular direction flat. Let's see an application of shearing. Let's say we want to connect two planks, red and blue, by a cylindrical object, but they are not on top of each other. Therefore a straight cylinder cannot connect them. What we would like to do is skew the cylinder while still keeping its circular faces flat that touch the planks. We achieve that by means of shearing. We click on the cylinder and click on the shear icon in the context dialog. This gives us the slider that we can use to change the ratio of shearing. By clicking on the ratio readout banner we can enter a precise value if we want to. The shearing takes place in the plane that is perpendicular to our viewing direction. Also we can choose between vertical and horizontal shearing by clicking on the radio buttons below the slider. Let's look at the third useful transform, flipping. On many occasions we build a geometry, but what we really want is a mirror image of it. That is when flipping comes in handy. We click on the geometry of interest and then click on the flip icon in the context dialog. We are offered two choices. We can flip the geometry horizontally or vertically depending upon the result we want. All these transforms can be performed simultaneously on group of geometries. We can use the select tool to select multiple geometries at a time, and then apply scaling, shearing or flipping transform on them. This can speed up the model and task a lot. This concludes the tutorial on applying special transforms on geometries.